comes George, got the step and scoops one move and counts in the foul. He beat LeBron James with that quick step. A sensational move by Paul George. We are seeing a superstar in the making here with Paul George. And click, click. Good man, this is your Kodak moment. He's five of six behind the arc. Oh, got that steal too. And here he goes. Here we go. PG what you got? puts on oh, the Oh yeah! Oh yeah, PG! That is the one. <laughs> There's no the question. One. Oh that my goodness! That is the one. Look at this again. Oh boy! Oh, what a pass to Stoller. Hey, that's a part of his game also. Which is Paul George with the up fake. Effortlessly knocks it down. Josh Smith with a block from behind, but George gets it back and jams it. George from the corner. George over Rodney Stuckey. Nothing but the bottom again. All George. Will he take a shot here? Does and drains it. A lob to George, and the Pistons didn't see him. Paul George fires, fills it up. Here is Watson faking the shot. Goes to George with it, who drains it from downtown. <laughs> Working on his stuff. Dumped! Dumped! I mean, dumped! And Mike Brown took another timeout because you just had a guy dribble. He came a long way to get that one. George still looking for his first point. Falling away. Count it. And the foul. Puts it on the floor. And hits. He scored five in a row. Shumpert. George. Through the contact and scores. This is back in January of 2011. George falling away. Able to hit over Bargnani. Here's George. 4-3. It's good for Paul George. George driving past his man. Beautiful hang and score by Paul George, and it's a four-point Pacer lead. They work it around to an open George, lets it fly. Guess who? And get back to Hibbert. Indiana's opponent time. I've, I've never seen Carmelo work harder. Here's George off balance, and George with 31 points. Well, he's got to come get that ball. Don't put it in George Hill's hands right now. Paul George has to be the guy. Here's George falling away. Hits another off-balance shot. That's 35 points for Paul George. <laughs> he got that swagger, too. He knows he's good. But the big part of being great is you got to know it. High-point score. That's a nice shot there by Paul George. To the post. Paul George showing some moves at the rim. He the he's just gotten so much stronger now. Russell shooting 0 for 5 beyond the arc. 6 for 7 three out of 4 from beyond the arc in the quarter. Making 4 out of 5. He's just Paul George tearing it up. The pass showing all kinds of moves and a nifty little fit off of the Thunder. 10 seconds to shoot. Lamb offering ear splitting approval. George, see that's... You got to work a while to make that happen, and he's done that with regularity here. George, step around, James. Oh, George, how do you do? Well, Paul George has been in a struggle offensively. His shooting percentage has dropped every month, but here, attacking the rim. He's against Paul. With a baseline to freedom. And that jumped from 17 a game last year, where he was most improved. So he went from 12 to 17 to 24 this year. They're not going to have anything easy. Speaking of the Clippers against this Pacer interior defense, George makes it look easy. There's the answer at the other end. It's down to seven. Into the corner. Too much separation. Part of their attack is Lord of George anywhere on that left block. Ball is going to be called. Plus one. Dudley. You talk about a meteoric rise. Three bingo! Ball down the lane. Outside. Broken up by George. He'll go all the way. Ball George goes bingo again. Including the last. 
last two under 80. George over Bullock. He got a bounce. And that young man has worked very hard. That's why the Pacers are more efficient offensively, Quinn. Well, that's what he's really starting to do exceptionally well, is to get himself to that 12. Paul George gets inside. And did an excellent job of getting it to the 11th rebound as Paul George gets to the basket, has now scored eight. And Indiana has a two to Washington, D.C. Usually during the summer months, uh, for many of the older military veterans, that they weren't honored like I think we honor them today. I'm not saying start. So assistant Dave Yeager is the new coach. <laughs> You're talking about make something out of nothing. Frustrating. And there's, there it is. This is triple double. So it's, you can see these guys <laughs> enjoying it. So they're going to get him out of the game. But that's a heck of a feat for a young man wrestling. What happened to Paul George? He must have got pushed. Paul George gets in and dunks it. Now he's so good off the dribble. Paul George in all kinds of traffic scores. He just found a way to get that thing on the glass. Paul gets up and in off the glass. Well, you won't see a tougher shot than that. Got rid of Damari Carroll and knocks down a two. Paul steps back, fires a three. Look out, here come the Pacers on the wing. Pacers 56% here in the second half. Paul George bangs home a three. And five of eight shooting. And the Hawks have outscored the much renowned Pacer bench. Extra pass, George for three. Greg Oden only playing nine minutes a game, playing a season high 15 minutes in the game against Portland. Boss gets the foul as Hibbert gets the end one. Late shot clock, step back three by George. But by Stevenson. George for three. James play and serve called by Frank Vogel. George stays on the floor and down the lane for two. Donald Sloan now comes in for Indiana. Paul George oh. nails a three-pointer. Oh. He's two for two to start. Four to shoot. George puts it in. So you can't play him any better than that. He changed the record. Paul George does, however, knocks down the three. Well, that was Indiana. Here, Mike. Somebody oh. used to come in and score. Watson throws down the three, and the Pacers with the first double. Yes, Joe's going to have to. If he gets an offensive rebound, he's really going to have to work for it because they know how important he is on the second chance points. Oh. There's George, just a nice dribble to lose Jimmy and got defense. George will win and dump the ball. Good defense. George now two to shoot. George wheels and fires and oh. drains it. That's a tough shot. I mean, Tony Snell couldn't get any better defense than this. Stevenson, one of four, two points. Three. Uh, George, uh, Joe came over and uh, turned that into a tough shot. But boy, he's a, you talk about a shot maker. Really tight the screws defensively. There's a jumper by Paul George that's good as George is trying to carry this team. George, loose into the lane, oh, away. fade away, and that's good. He, he got away with a push-off, too. He, he uses that left arm to get separation. Five by George, defensively. Now he's the last line. He has to be there to defend. Outlet, oh, outlet, run out, behind the back, dunk by Paul George. Highlight stuff for Indiana in transition. And then to last basket, a little behind the back, and a nice finish. That's Yeah, I know, you're pretty good, Paul. You're pretty good. George down the lane, able to score. Turned it over that time, though. Stevenson behind the back, and George with the finish. And how Harden tried to take a foul. 77 first half points. There's Paul George, a three-pointer. And the Pacers back within nine. Heat faced Indiana with 10. Here's George, they got the switch, and George buries the jumper over Terrence Jones. Indiana transition, George blows by his man, takes it strong, and throws it down. Wes Matthews with a huge second half. George, three, got them all! After making nothing, find inside from Hill. Another switch, George. Paul George in the past, second chance opportunity off of the miss, and George drills the three. Driving on Ross, step back, Jay, good, top shot. Indiana getting extra opportunities, and 
Case in point right there. Here's George. Three. Good. Hey, remember I said you poked the bear. 10 of 20. George is fouled, and he makes it. Ties it up and a chance to grab the lead. It's 88 88, 605 to go. Here's George. He's been on fire. He's got 26. No question, they did foul on the other end. Here's Paul George. His three. Banks it in. That counts. PG banks it in. He's been looking for this for quite some time. He's able to get. Mahimi is also checked in. Alley oop. Got that one. Got that one. The same play that was run the last time. I uh, should say in the first half out of bounds, this time. His three-point shot is good. Pacers can regain the lead. Cutting is Hill, and a little two-drop is good. And now Paul George floating and hitting. A little dump off pass to Hibbert, and no hesitation. Four to shoot, out to Hibbert to beat the shot clock. Uh, yes, Graham, we have seen so many unselfish plays. Paul George got into the lane, probably could have forced up a shot. And PG has the triple-double, his first of the year. Teammates let him know, the fans let him know. I'm pretty sure he knows. Nice pass to Hill. And it becomes contagious. Lance has created a lot of this. If Lance Stevenson, for a lot of things that he's done, he's created it. Down five, is it going to work? George squares up and hits it. That time he shot it confidently. George and Hill out there. Paul George fires and hits for three. Well, you can't let him have the shot. Trying to end a nine-game losing streak against these guys, but Paul George gets to the rack. Hovering around that eight spot. Paul George starts with a three ball. Sands inside, finished it. That's the Paul George we saw so much of the first three months of the season. Change of pace by Paul George, got to the rim. Three seconds, Paul George, pull up, jumper, PG got it, it's a long two. Finally able to knock one down, they're going to take a look at it. Gotta have more heart, more fight. And Paul George gets it to go, has a chance to start this. George hits yeah. the jumper. As you can see, he's starting to find offensive rhythm too. Now Paul George, step back, three, good by PG. <laughs> he's really starting to feel it now. He's got Caldwell Pope on the other end because they, they get tired. And it's a three-point lead. Paul George has yet to score in this quarter. He had 14 in the third. His jump shot is good on cue. Boy, is he really comfortable coming off that screen. Well set there. Paul George against Kawhi Leonard and gets the jumper to go. And I like how he... Leonard guarding Paul George. Step back jumper by PG is good. Second field goal for Paul. He's two for four tonight. George hits the three. The screen from West. Paul George free throw line jumper. He has shot it better tonight. He's got 11. Four of 16. Tiago Splitter has nine. Paul George drives on Leonard. You see, he's driving on everybody. Everybody's there watching him. And this is just too hard for him. Turnaround jump shot by PG is good. He's got 16. And Greg Popovich takes a timeout. 7.41 to play. And then rolled it off the leg of Noah. We pass ahead. Paul George runs in. Layup broken. Oh, foul by Derek. You drive and a finish by Paul George. He just went sailing in there. Uh, you, you've got to. Well, it, it, he's going to get a lesson. I, mean, I don't think there's any question about that. Paul George. Here, and here's the alley yes. loop. Paul George throws it down. Yes. I'd like to say, can that be the one on Fox Sports Live? But that was back in 36-30 Indiana. And that's, you know, not to talk badly about Jan Mahindi, but I just think sometimes you got to know why you're open. That's the other reason why you don't take him out with two fouls. <laughs> well, getting into their offense. Now Paul George. It's a tough shot over on the other baseline. And Mike Harris is in the ballgame. His favors has those fouls. Works goes baseline around Scola. His ball, his shot is knocked down. Indiana running up wow. in the front court. And look what George just did. His athleticism, he's so long and athletic, it's, it's, it's off the chart. Well, against us. Yeah, I don't know. But he's got a solid set of skills, and there's a steal. Watch out, George. Showtime's over the left hand. Could Allen here. Paul George. Wow. Another big shot. This is a team that was 0 for 12 from three point land. Hung around all night long. Right, and that's why I said it, because they were getting beaten 20s, sometimes 30. 
They just won in a lot of games. You're seeing Paul George after the athletic. Three-point lead here early. Five minutes gone. George knocks down two. Yeah, it's Favorani. George looking for a shot. Takes it. Makes it. George, little heat check. West in a mismatch. Kicks it back to George. George, the jumper. Yeah. Two. Up to George. Easy two. Foul on Scola. Gets it over to George. George knocks down a three. Paul George, who has blossomed into a star, trying to fend off Anderson. Watch the dribble, pull up, pop. Boy, Anderson made him work for that. Wow. Oh, oh man. Rainbow delivery for Paul George. Yeah. George, that's a three. Shooting practice. Mm -hmm. Sure was. He was just parked oh, over there. Opening up the second half with a three. So smooth in that delivery. And then George hits a three. Right. For 43 points. George forcing his way in. And there's the turnaround with the soft, feathery touch. The crossover, the jumper. Paul George. Wow. Watson steps in front. Another steal. Lead pass. George. Look out. Reverse jam. That baseline jumper, Paul George. Beautiful looking stroke. He's got 26 points. Back the other way and puts it up and in, and the Pacers have the lead. Again, Scola keeps it alive. The numbers show that Thorne is in a deep slump, but you know he is capable of coming out. Back in two or three like it was nothing. Post out to Paul George and his three-point shot. Perfect. Paul just went the wrong way. He had it on the inside. David went. PG oh. for three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's right there. Count it and a foul. Thornton for three. Yes, and the yes, Pacers sir. have tied it. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Hey, go down. He got it. Paul George hits the three <laughs> and draws the foul. Oh, my goodness. He came off of that one with some steam. We're tied. George, jumper, good. Yeah, in overtime, you're the best defensive team in the league. And George Hill comes up with a steal. Take it all away. Oh, yeah. He makes a really good play with Paul George. Drives on Williams. Looks it up for two. You can call it the Davidsky. You call it anybody you want. That's a step back one leg. There's there you Stevenson. Go. You just space, and they space, and you had George Hill, David West on the outside. Yep. And here's Paul George with a dunk. Just find the open man usually on the weak side and to get a wide open three point shot out of that. And Paul George gets a steal and a very solid pass there by George Hill. G2 zones connecting. Here's Paul George, a three. A deep three. I mean, that was a deep three. I just step and a half, almost two steps. George hits it in the corner. <laughs> and he may have taken the most difficult shot from the passes that were being made. Three, and that's his fourth of the night. Good read off of that screen. Pat George as Batum went behind the pick of, by George Hill and paid the price that time. He averages about three a game. They go behind the pick on Paul George and he drills the three. George takes a short jumper and hits again. Paul George looking to answer for Indiana and he does. Oh, he tells the crowd right now. from the corner for three, buries it. You got to get up right here. There's Paul George. Find Paul George. There he is. Open off a pick. Takes the three and throws it. You can't let him have any room. Back to George. Let's another three go and hits it again with Matthews right in his face. You cannot play better defense than that. Now they'll run something for Paul George. There it is. Catch and shoot three. And he hits the bottom of the net again. Wesley Matthews just shakes his head. 15.6 left. Matthews gets laid out. That three is blocked maybe by Lillard again. George gets it back and hits. I don't think he can believe the shots that Paul George has picked up. Paul 
George drops the hammer on Big Baby. Paul George for three. Well, Indiana still has a low scoring bench, even with some upgrade. All their own trying to keep him in that corner. George still shoots, though, and hits. You can't play better defense than that. It's a drive from Paul George. He'll get the continuation and can score the shot. And inside, Paul George able to keep it in play for Indiana. His shot goes. Well, that reminds you. He'll get a good one. I didn't know if he'd make it, but he'll get a good one because I don't think singular. Oh, yes. Finds Paul George for a three. But a good basketball play by Lance Stevenson. Finds Mahimi out to PG for another three. And Lance started it. And yeah, now they'll take the timeout. He, he was going to take one in the beginning, but the energy is in the building again. This is when you, now he's got to go. He didn't have a choice. I mean, he makes the shot. Josh Smith will get a technical before long. Here's on the floor, throws it out to Paul no, George. No, it should have reset. No, no, they, I can't believe that. Fortunately, you know why Paul shot it? The shot clock should have reset it. Hadn't re Lead to one with under two and a half to play. Paul George again. He knows senior can't guard him. He held him while the ball wasn't in play. And now George for three. Now Washington 0 for 5 from long range. Field goal for Paul George. Trevor Reason drives on Gortat. Looked like he traveled. Randy Whitman looking for some call, but careful. Not Paul George spinning and hits a tough shot. Paul George met by Harrington. Score the field goal. He'll go to the line. Well, that's the thing about these uh, all stars. They're so good. George for three. Got it. The ball movement made it, though. David West made a terrific pass. And trailing, they have a chance to regain the lead here with four to shoot. Paul George creates <laughs> a shot and scores. This kind of brings him right out of his pocket. Oh, boy, boy, if he's not going to fight for position. Barnett comes to help. Paul George, the ju jumper, and that was a tough one, Quinn. That was, but it was a good read. Finally gives it up to George with three to shoot. Paul George cans the jumper. Another aspect of Paul George's game you don't hear about around the NBA. They talk about buries the three and leaves the time necessary. Future win at home early in this season. George buries the three with Pierce in his face. George slicing through with the pull up. 3.8 to shoot. George gets it into Scola. Hand off George for three. He got it. That's a big one. George, difficult look, but he buries it. George, the jumper, is good. Paul George helping orchestrate a four-point swing there. To go. Schroeder's pass is picked by Paul George. Windmills at home. Type of plays. Great anticipation. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful anticipation. George with a jump shot. Paul George, his first three attempt. Seeing him lift, lift. Paul George had eight first quarter points, three of three from the field. Ten now for Paul. Stolen by Paul George. He's off and running. And oh! Hammers it. Ooh, he slams it. It's this crowd into it. <laughs> this crowd saw Indiana score early and often to lead by 12. And here's Paul George in a nine-point lead. Here's Paul George, a three. Oh! Oh, that was sweet. Now Paul George tees up a three. And he looked to make sure his feet were lined up just right. Front line that the Pacers have, they got to run. Rebound and get out for a second was on James Anderson. As that three counts, final half minute of the first, George. <laughs> but not bad. No. Paul George, a chance to recover, but again, another nice under out of bounds play by the Sixers. Man. First, the collision, the bump and run with Thaddeus Young. Right now, they need the crowd to get behind them, give them a little bit of energy because they are fighting hard. Paul George winds his way in, got it done, a tough two. Good recovery by George Hill. Knocked away. Good hands by George Hill, too, and a pass over the top of the head, and Lance finishes it with the defense intensity. That was one possession here in this first quarter that was like that third quarter yeah. that we saw the other night.
George, at least on this possession. Nice job. Can't do any better, and he made it anyway. Well, if he earns that, that's fine. Bogut swatted it away. And Paul George has it locked. Incredibly aggressive move. Paul George bottoms a three. Paul George, oh, what a start he's had. Oh, my goodness. Aaron George is going to get the freebie. It's a tough time for his first turnover. Yep. And George answers in his own right. Paul George. 10 0 run. And now Paul George against Middleton. Forces up a shot and finds the net. Got him shooting jump shots. Paul George, jump shot good. Four now. Oh, he popped. OJ Payoff. Paul George shooting sideways, but I mean, great screen set there by what, what happened to Ryan Hart. He got to the Western Coast, Western Cup final. Yeah, we had another one. Well, that mid-range shot, I mean, he makes three-point shots. But off the dribble, that mid-range shot. Against Gary Neal. So you put Paul George back in, and at some point, they've got to get somebody bigger on the hill. He's like, wow. That's a guy that's just confident in his jump shot there. He popped the ball free. Every now, coming in with eight straight 20-point games and an 8-0 record, Paul George had joined Wilt Chamberlain and Dave Bing. In the post is Paul George. Has size on DeRozan and just lifts him up. Yeah, and DeRozan's the two guard, got matched up there. And Lance does it, and Roy finishes. And there's Paul George hitting a three on the skip. There by Roy. Paul got it. Great job there, splitting the double team. The hands broke. Paul George oh. inside. And there by David West, gets Gay on his heels. Roy Hibbert blocks out Valanciunas. Less than 10 to play. Watson to George against Landry Fields. Orlando Johnson, a nice shot, Blake. And Paul George, yes. the three, the extra pass. Paul gave it up. That would get the ball and then lay it coming through, which means you can't get started in your offense quite as fast. Paul George beats the buzzer with a three-point <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was looking to make that happen. Maybe that will be that the one. And one. And one. That's an and one. 15 points. He had 13 in the first quarter. And there's two more. He had no chance to get the ball. PG for three. And that is his third. Got a three-pointer out of it. He's hit four of them. Could it be five? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, is he looking comfortable at that three-point line. 34 for Paul George, five threes tonight. Oh, very tough move there. I mean, he was able to find the defense and clear. He goes right to the basket again with a left hand. Well, he's become more determined since he got knocked. He's been the player of the game right now. And two more for Paul George. He attacks the big men, either Cantor or Fader. And George on the flush. Yeah, I love that. And Hill, George, the pull-up pop. Yeah. This guy is shooting 41% in threes. He takes six a game. A full stat line. Here's George, the quick release, and that is a pretty release. George, again. I right there, it looks like they were in a zone. If, if Indiana will take quick shots, how about this? Here's George, oh, that was fun. The two end in reverse, and it's time out time for the Houston Rockets as Paul George has Baker's Life Fieldhouse hopping. They've taken the air out of their enthusiasm. The defense is suffocating, and then excellent offensive play, especially on the break. They have dominated the game on the break. But this is exactly what you were hoping didn't happen if you were Indiana. George taking out his do-it-yourself kit. As Paul George with a sweet move to the bucket. It's in the rearview mirror, mirror either way as Paul George gets to the bucket. They've already gotten up 15 three-pointers. Paul George counters and knocks down one himself. Let me talk about Millsap and his diverse offensive game. How about this young guy? And back comes Paul George. On the break, draws the hit. 
Hill out to George for three. Wow. Knocked away. Out of the show, the go. It'll be Paul George with the triple. Stevenson on the assist. And an early burst. And the Atlanta Hawks, a two-year deal. And on the run, it is Paul George. Thought he got contact. In the lead, using that to fuel the offense. And Joel and Chris, you called it. Trust is at the core of everything the Pacers want to do. And the switch. And I thought West would take it. Instead, a wide open three. Paul George. Back to a four-point deficit, but you're right about the spacing. Molly, thank you. And Kyle Korver took the first shot of the second half. George gets it done from beyond the arc before Damari Carroll. And final four seconds. Paul George knows the triple to the buzzer. Got it! They're alive and well in Indianapolis. Almost like an impossible situation. Especially against the team that's already down. Paul George wheeling into the paint. To play the way they play. Defense. And which leads to that three. Seeing that guy in rhythm. People, good job by Paul George. They knocked that down. Roy Hibbert on the offensive glass. They need that. George attacks the rim and lays it in. Paul George with a terrific second effort. West with it out high right side. Nine to shoot in the corner. George the three. Got it. Paul George with some body English. Wrapped by West ahead to George. Into the lane. And he throws it down with the right hand. And game three, two days ago, and they have a chance to put Indiana in the crosshairs. And Paul George knocks down the first shot to get it started this afternoon. And George lines it up. And Paul George lost the handle momentarily, but able to score. With Mike Scott. Ball on the floor, and Paul George comes away with it. George looking up. He'll spin. And he takes it himself. There's George Hill, and he'll find Paul George, and a three-pointer on the way is good. This is what you expect from your best player. Paul. Carroll guarding George. He steps back right in his face. He knocks it down. Paul George gives the Pacers the lead. They go with the handoff, and Paul George. Oh, go up top for Paul George. Paul George strong, hanging Goodness. in the air. Quick cut, great pass, Watson to George. That was a thing of beauty. Indiana down two with the ball. Here's George for three in the lead. And Paul George, big time three to give Indiana a lead. He is a shell of himself right now. Huntage the foul, George cans it. And that's a clean look, bottom, a three. Jeff Teague has gotten a long rest. George hits on the triple. George to the hoop for the jam. Spreading the court plan just like Atlanta Hawks basketball. And there's Paul George with the drive. This is a 10-point game right now. George, a three. Bottom. Paul George connects from long range. As Paul George knocks down his first chance. He's been a monster in this year. Second rounders. And the friendly bounce here early in this game. Carroll coming off a nice game as George all the way in for the stuff. He shook Millsap free, Paul George. Mentality of the Memphis Grizzlies. Here's Paul George out oh of the timeout, hanging goodness. in the air, and the finish. Dances here this year as Paul George knocks it down, stay perhaps. All three games on the schedule tonight could end. Oh, oh. And Paul George bad, taking man. over. Shot clock at two, George guarded by Millsap. Three-pointer is good. Paul George delivers in the clutch. We go 37 left and that is a steal by George what a costly turnover for Atlanta Lou Williams threw it right in got hot late and found themselves in the playoffs good look oh, and a little style Paul George guarded by Corver George steps back and does that not as good as anyone Paul George really and George squeeze again boy how'd he get through Paul George shifty Really nice moving up. It's Paul George knocks one down, and the Pacers go on eight. They have the lead by six. George trying to win. Paul George pulls down the board. Here's George. He's feeling it right now. And Paul George with 16. 10 in this quarter. Scott hit five three pointers in the second quarter in game five. As George answers.
Paul George for three. Yes! Four of six from behind the arc as George has an answer on the other. Paul George has missed just one shot in his last ten tries. Splits the double team and George silky smooth in the lane. And how about the ability to George. West clears for George. A 10-2 lead for Washington. George to the hoop. High off the window. And a chance for three. Against Atlanta. That's very weird when you traded for that guy as George knocks down the three. But uh percentage defense holding teams to 42% shooting. George mismatch over Nene. Book it. Stevenson scraping for it. Raffle dazzle. The feed to George. Layup goes down and a foul. One on one, no double. George. The favorite. Shot clock winding down. George doesn't take the jumper initially. Now he does. Tough delivery. West trying to get it to George. Fakes on a reason. Takes it to the rim. And slams. Paul George with an ace. Winding down. George wheels inside for the deuce. George weaving through traffic and giving his team a two-point lead. I like when either he or Lane goes out. And Paul George trying to change all that with a long. Stevenson passed up a three, made the extra pass, and it pays off. Great teamwork and ball movement by Indiana. Really needs to prove this out. George, the redirect to the hoop. Paul George, the floor. George, mismatch. A floater, Paul George. George, a bomb for three. Paul George from deep. George fires the three and hits. Give him the assist for that play. Five on the timer. Paul George, a three. Hill doesn't take the three. Wall recovers. George goes to the outside. A three ball. He's got it. It was such a great job of Washington. George fires over Ariza. Bullseye for three. George beats the shot clock and scores. Plus the foul. Paul George is locked in. Kick out for George, offers up the three, and hits. Six-point lead for Washington with it five minutes to play in the fourth. George, step back three. Oh, it's good and a foul! Paul George with a chance at a four-point play. And that's 39 now for Paul George. One-point lead for Indiana. And it's an easy 39. The All-Star fires and hits. 5-10 to go. George, oh, nice job inside at penetration, and then they just forgot about it. To get going before the scene shifts the following weekend to Miami for games three and four. All right, so here are George off the dribble, chased by Battier. They find West inside. Beautiful look from Paul George. Hibbert goes back door. Kicks it out to George. His three-pointer. First West to Hibbert, and then Hibbert, the touch pass. George hits the jumper. George the drive over Anderson, knocks it down with 1.8 remaining. George for three. Puts it in. Paul George from downtown. George running the floor down the other end. Layup is good. Beautiful fast break. Just superb playoff performances this year. George, that's a three. Struggling all night. That's his first three-pointer. And the Pacers go up by seven. James's injury is not an injury. It's cramping as George answers back. Against Miami, that's, the decisions have to be made quickly. George forces a shot, draws a foul, and puts it in. What a tough shot from George. Attack more than a half foot offense with the clock dwindling down. That's a sweet move from Paul George. George finds some space. That's a great dribble move by a 6'10 small forward. George down the other end, throws it down. Well, what you talked about, Coach, the adjustment. Even down to George. George throws it down. Emphatic dunk for Paul George. And with all the heroics from Chris Bosch, George has had a good solid first half. Hits a three. Paul George with a big bucket there. That cuts it back to five. With... And a whistle and a foul. Two with 6.48 remaining. George tries a three. That's good. 
And Paul George. George on the drive, sidestep. Oh, beautiful move from Paul George. Dallas played a great series and deserved it. But I thought they had a great year. George, that's a three. George fell down afterwards, four to two. George has to fire away and knocks it down. George, his second field goal. Herbert again, this time a shot short. George right there. And Paul George has come out of the block strong. George gets inside. Difficult move there. Another steal, this time from George. And the Pacers regain the lead. George for three. And the Pacers go up by three. West looking. George catches a three. Bang! At the buzzer. Paul George from downtown. Chalmers stayed with the play, and George did. And nails the three-pointer. George on the steal on a bad pass from Bosch. George goes at Allen and throws it down. Five to shoot. George, tough turnaround. That's good. Paul George with 20 points. Extra pass. George is open. Hits a three. Paul George coming alive in the second half. Gains stolen by George. George's shot is good. Four to shoot George. Wade trying to stay with him. George pulls up. Puts it in. Paul George again. 15 fourth quarter points for George. And a four point Indiana lead. Switching on Paul George. Paul George from downtown. Does it again. He's got 34. What a monster. Frank Vogel's Once trying to get a timeout. A three. Bang! Paul George from downtown. What a fourth quarter performance from George. And the Pacers go back up by four.